resident teacher here in Huckabee. Um, I'm placed with a cooperating teacher and I'm kind of just learning the ropes, um, learning the things that you can't learn in a classroom at college. The residency model is, you know, where, where student teachers come um, their senior year, their last year of, of, of university, they come and they spend the entire school year with uh, a, a single cooperating teacher. It's really nice to have somebody in the room that can pull a small group or work individually with somebody while I'm either teaching the lesson or while she's teaching the lesson, I can pull a small group. Um, it helps with behavior management. Um, it's just really nice to have somebody else in the room with you that can benefit and so it's really good for the kids too. How many are left, okay? We currently have a, a Decision 5 grant, uh, which allows us to be able to pay our residents. So this, this is a way that uh, we can you know, compensate them to, to pay them for their time, and because we, we couldn't do it without our residents. I mean, they, they are a tremendous help. We're a pre-K 12 campus, so to, to fill in um, all the way from, from pre-K all the way to 12th grade, and so uh, they get, a, they get a, a, a vast experience level while they're here. I love it. Being in college classes, like whether it's classroom management or um, ESL class or um, cultural diversity, all of those classes, they're starting to really become useful because I'm in a school. This group, you are putting your slides together. Okay. Oh, it's so beneficial. Um, I think about like what I teach and what I do and just um, the ability, you know, this is, so we've been together, I guess, for a month and a half-ish now, but I think about, um, you know, we're going to implement some small group and just being able to reach those kids more. And so it is amazing. And having two bodies in the room and two teachers and um, yeah, there's nothing like it. I really refer to mine as my, really like part of one of my best friends. Um, we work together so well. We're always on the same page. And then she also supports me. I always ask her, what can I do better? She's like always there to give me insight and be like, well, I feel like if you did this, it'll help out. Um, I just feel like she's like one of my best friends. One of the great things about the residency program is it, it creates a, a talented pool of teachers. We have not had one single resident that has, has not gotten a, a really great job of the district of their choice. Uh, they're coming in as a, a first year teacher. They know how to plan, they know how to teach lessons, they know the lesson cycle, they know how to have parent conferences, they know how to um, manage a classroom behavior, and so uh, they're extremely marketable when they leave um, a, a, as, a, as a graduate from the residency program. Good morning, guys. Hi, Queen. I would love to stay here in Huckabee. I feel like I really did find my home, um, and I know that right now this is working, and I feel comfortable coming to school because not only should you feel pedagogically prepared to be a teacher, but you need to feel comfortable. You need to feel like um, the people around you are carrying you along as well. And I found that here in Huckabee. So I would love to stay. Once I graduate, I'm just gonna find a place, probably more of a low income um, at risk school, a Title I school, um, because those are the students who really need the support. I've had a lot of people tell me, why do you wanna become a teacher? Why would you do that? You don't get paid well. Oh, the kids are, you know, they misbehave. That's what you're there for. You're, you're there to love them and to help them and lead them in the right direction. And, and I don't think a whole lot of people view teaching like that. Teachers are the reason why society exists. If you didn't have a teacher, we wouldn't have anything. Tonight we are here to honor the 30 graduates in our 4th ISD's Fresh Start Diploma Program. This is something I've been waiting for 20 plus years. In 2018, the State Board of Education ruled that former students who had not received their high school diplomas could still graduate if they met certain requirements. It's uh, a long time coming. <laughs> I've been waiting, you know, to do. I didn't get to do it. Tonight, graduates, we honor you your families, and your accomplishments. You overcame personal obstacles and any odds to be here tonight. Maria Isabel Gonzalez, Eastern Hills High School. It's never too late. Keep pushing, stay focused. Jesus Alejandro Rodriguez. I didn't want to get a GED because I felt like I deserved my diploma like everyone else. 
But tonight, I get to hold my head up high and say I did it. Will you please move your tassels from the right to the left, signifying you are now Fort Worth ISD graduates. Congratulations to class of 2024 for never giving up on yourself. Now let's go be great. What matters is that you kept with it, you followed your dream, and today is just the beginning for you. We congratulate you for your decision, not only to try, but to accomplish your goal and earn your high school diploma.